Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we're going to do something a little out of the norm, and I'm going to be reviewing um, these flavored straws. All right, so um, these are Water Magic is the brand. They are flavored straws for water. All right, you can see I have two different flavors here, Berry Blast and Cherry Cola. So just judging by the picture, since I have not opened them as of yet, they appear to be straws with a whole bunch of little like flavor crystals in them, um, I assume akin to candy. And as the water passes through a straw heading towards your mouth, the little rocks um, must flavor the water to be whatever the associated flavor is. All right, so you can see we get four straws per pack. They're, it's gluten-free product that's uh, what non-GMO, and it's also BPA-free. Going to rope to the back, we have unique barcodes for the different flavors. Share those nutritional specs. Pretty much what you'd expect from something like this. All right, it's distributed by a company in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and made in Hungary. Um, all right, not too many things I come across on a daily basis are made in Hungary, so that's kind of a novelty in itself. All right, so behind each of these, I have a glass of water. And what I've done is I've filled it up with um, slightly cooler than room temperature, but overall it's pretty much room temperature. So not too cold, not too hot. I did this for taste reasons. Um, as you may know, things are easier to taste when they're not cold. So that's why I went with the water temperature. And you can see I have roughly the same amount of water in each glass. And uh, well, there's really no other way to test these but they just uh, crack them open and try it out. So here we go, opening it up. All right, so here's the, f oh, okay. All right, so the little granules are held in by these crimps. So you have a kind of a three-fold crimp there to hold them in. And of course, there's the same thing on the other side. So, and then you can see the majority of it are the little granule balls there, but then in the middle you have what looks to be like, almost like aspirin tablets. <laughs> and there's one, two, three, four, five of those. And um, this also goes with the pitcher. They seem to have those tablets always positioned in the roughly the center of the straw. Now, um, what side's up and what side's down? Uh, let me see. I'm going to go with the way they were put in the bag as a hint. Uh, all right. And so it seems that, at least I assume you could do it both ways, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to keep the tablets closer to the drink. So I'm going to put it in this way. All right. And a we'll quick look down the barrel here. You can see that um, because of the way it's crimped, you're going to have the water coming through those three holes. I don't, that might also help to stir up the water a little. Um, all right, well, it's interesting. Oh, and yes, they do make shaky noises. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it in the water. Before I have a drink, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in and see. Of course, I kind of have a faceted glass here, so it's going to have some refraction going on. Okay, pull it out the water. So, the little tablets seem to be dissolving. Yeah, so the tablets are dissolving. I'm getting like little bubbles in there. I wouldn't say fizzing, but they definitely are absorbing some of the water. And uh, as far as the little uh, granules, well, they just don't shake anymore. They kind of become almost, they become stuck to one another. All right, now for the actual taste test here. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, first of all, yes, it does. It does taste. They does flavor the water. There's no doubt about that. Um, so I'm doing the berry blast here. So it has a very berry flavor. The amount of water you can suck up is obviously restricted, so that's the first thing you'll notice. Um, you're used to you know drinking through a straw, so you kind of have an idea of how much water should be coming into your mouth, and it's noticeably less than that because of having to go through all those different mediums that we saw. Um, oh, um, 
Okay, so it's a, a berry taste. Um, it kind of comes in tasting like water, and then like a fraction of a second later, you get the um, kick in of all the flavor, and then that kind of subsides, but it does leave a taste in your mouth, so the flavor doesn't disappear right away. You can also, at least from the first couple sips, I could t sense that it was like water mixing with something, because um, there'd be part of it you would taste like, oh, there's water, and then, oh, there's flavoring too. So it doesn't taste the same as, well, the timing of this tastes wouldn't be the same as if you just dissolved this stuff in the water and then drank it. So, yeah. Um, but it does definitely add taste to the water. And um, I don't know if this is going to come up on camera here, but I'm starting to get some of the material. Oh boy, now it's really going down. Okay, you can see, actually we can use this as contrast. Okay, excellent. So you can see that um, the material is um, dissolving into the drink. Now, of course, I mean, there is no reason to think this wouldn't happen, but there doesn't seem to be anything to actually hold the contents of the straw from going back into the um, drink itself. So, uh, at, I guess at some point, assuming you're not drinking out of a huge vat and you're just drinking out of like a cup such as this, I'm assuming if you keep all these little contents pushed towards the bottom of the straw, they'll all eventually, for the most part, dissolve in the drink itself. And then, then it's more like the scenario I pointed out earlier where you're essentially dissolving something in a drink. And of course, products like that have been on the market forever. Um, mm. Well, I can tell you this. For the amount of water I have in this glass, and of course you might drink more than this, I kind of filled this up about halfway, but even with this cup, and this is a relatively decent sized cup, it isn't a small cup by any means, but with half the fluid in this cup, what you see here, that one of these straws is more than capable of flavoring all that water. And at this point it's pretty potent, so I would go ahead and make the leap to say if you had this thing filled, you'd still be good as far as having enough flavor. Um, go back to our little straw here. You can see all those little beads have pretty much disappeared. We just have about what maybe an inch high of the beads left and there's a few of those um, little, well I'll call them the little aspirin pill looking things. They are still there but they're dissolved and well you can just see how much in fact let me go ahead and pull out a full one well, to compare get my forward date. Okay, so all right. So you can see the difference. Here, I'm gonna hold it from this back here. So there you go. Bottom of course is the one we used and the other one on top is not used yet. So well we all know where all that uh, flavoring went into the drink there. Um, so yes they do work and um, as far as uh, is this a practical um, is this a practical item I would say if you have like a lunchbox or something where you're already going to be carrying th um, other items that are about this size and also it provides it so that they won't get crushed, you know like all those most lunch boxes have like hard sides, this would pretty be a good thing to put in um, because the straws won't crack and have the little pellets running out everywhere. Uh, however, if you're not carrying something like that and you're just out with your pockets, you know, maybe those little um, flavoring fluids would probably be a little just easier to use. You won't have to worry about keeping this in your pocket and worry about not bending it. But do they flavor the water? Uh, yes, they do. So. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my drink here.